All right, I'm going to make this uh, little video series, I suppose, to document our transformation of this 2006 Montana. Don't remember the model name, fifth wheel. Uh, we flip a lot of trailers, do a lot of repairs and some minor work. Uh, we've done some painting and new hardware here and there, but this is our first attempt at a complete gut, you know, gut job, totally remodeling it. Uh, we've had it for about a month and maybe a month and a half, month and a week, something like that. Um, and it was, you know, everything for the most part worked. It's just really worn and dated. And uh, so we're kind of racing the clock on the exterior here. Uh, we are at, no, uh, what is today, October 29th, 2023. So we got about another two weeks maybe of weather during the day that is warm enough to paint. Um, so we've spent the last couple of weeks stripping off all the graphics on here. I don't know if I have a picture of that or not. Um, I know this is my first video in this little series. And that was a pain. You have to uh, use a heat gun and a scraper. you got to go across the entire thing and uh, you know, scrape all the graphics off. And then once all the graphics were off, uh, we have to use an industrial adhesive remover. And you have to scrub all the adhesive off. That took a long time as well. And then the problem is because the underneath the graphics it kind of let me see if I can find a spot where you might be able to see it kind of uh, bubbles up the the gel coat a little bit. Gel coat's kind of like clear coat on a fiberglass exterior of a trailer like this. And uh, if we try to paint over that, you're still going to see the ghost image of the uh, former graphics where the uh, gel coat's a different texture. Let's see if you can see where the sun's hitting it there. I don't think you can. Anyway, so this whole thing has to be sanded down. So we're now we're sanding the entire trailer. We're about three quarters of the way done with that. Then the whole thing has to be thoroughly clean because it's got years of mildew growing on it. But once that's all cleaned off, then we uh, do a little bit of repairs here and there. Uh, there's a few little areas where the uh, gel coat's kind of... Uh, Kind of gouged the sun. Didn't know what he was doing on the door, so he gouged it a few times. We have to repair all that. And then we will paint. Uh, it's going to be gray and black. Um, so like I said, we're racing the clock on this. Also have to get up on the roof. The roof's in good condition with no leaks, but we got to scrub it clean up there. Make sure all the seams are looking good before we call her good outside. Oh, also the um, awning. The awning is trashed. When we got it, it was a... Uh, dangling off, falling apart. So, we do have new awning material. The arms and everything are good. They're going to get painted black. Got new black fabric. Got a cargo trailer full of stuff from Amazon and the hardware store and everything to work on this build. But in here, floor got all stripped out. Um, right now, we're cleaning everything up, getting ready for paint. There was that god-awful wallpaper rail kind of a thing that a lot of them have that got stripped off and then we're having to clean the adhesive off which the adhesive remover kind of melts this uh vinyl cover that they put over the walls it's not really a wallpaper but anyway it just melts the uh paint that stuff off of that so that's getting done little gouges here and there they're gonna get filled uh before paint these we're gonna leave open i've got some baskets that will go in there everything's getting painted new light fixtures are going in New facing around the slide. Uh, this was a entertainment center for a big old um, tube TV that's getting ripped out, and a coffee bar is going in there. Uh, new faux rock uh, facing on the fake fireplace that got all ripped out. That's going to become a um, hall tree. Uh, a little more storage up here. These are all going to get painted. We've got new uh, faux marble countertops that we're going to put on there. Um, yeah, painting all that. New floor is going to go in. Got some new furniture, couch, and all that kind of stuff. Come up here. Uh, ripped all that out. We're going to put all new shower tile in there. Um, that's all going to get painted. Wall is going to get painted again. New fixtures, a new nice uh, vessel sink we're going to put right there. Uh, bathroom is going to get all redone. I think we're going to leave the washer. It's actually a washer-dryer combo. It's like a $2,000 machine. It's kind of cool because it does both. Um, you know, a wash cycle will complete and it will instantly start the dry cycle. All in one machine. So that's really cool. So that will stay. 
Um, not sure on all of this. Got some glass sliders. I think I might just put a curtain there. I think that might look better than the glass sliders. We got another fifth wheel coming in tomorrow. And the uh, sliders, the glass sliders are cracked. And I was trying to look at alternatives to that. I've seen some people that have used, used uh, like a fabric curtain kind of a thing. It ends up looking pretty good. Uh, maybe something like, uh, I don't know, canvas or something like that might look nice. Um, but anyway, new fixtures are going to go in there. New facing around the slides. So yeah, this is the current state. It looks like a mess, and it is. It looks like a disaster, and it is. But when all is said and done, it should look pretty nice.